situations. Or maybe just share uh, how is your progress has been. Okay, I can call name or you can just volunteer to, to speak. Okay, uh, go ahead, Niamh. You can speak. Tita, maybe. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing your name, but. Yeah, Musi. Hi. Could you? Okay. Hi. Sorry, I was on mute. Hi. So I can. Yeah. Hi. Pardon? Could you say your name? Hello. Just pronounce your name oh. so I can say it correctly. Okay. Nyamusi. Musi. Nyamusi. Yeah. Nyamusi. Nyamusi. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, for me, I was trying to modulize my code. Um, I was trying to create a um a pie plot, no, a plot script uh, that uh, has um functions that can help in plotting. And when I try to use that script in my notebook, it takes too long to load and until my laptop just shuts down. I don't know why or what could be wrong. Yeah, maybe your PC computing power is it an old laptop or too much file is found in your laptop? Mm, it has power, not so much. It's called i5. Maybe you try to just uh, delete some unnecessary files. If, if the PC is busy, it might happen uh, this kind of thing. But okay. It's a computation error from your laptop. Okay. So uh, if you and are opening too much application, try to close it. Just only open the IBS code. Okay. That's also and, the purpose. Okay. And when we are trying, when we when we create a script that can maybe do the connection of database or do the uh, the other functions. Do we is it a must that we come again and use the scripts that we have we have created to automate the process inside our notebook again? I'm not. I don't know if it makes sure. sense. Like, like if we create a, a module that handles data transformation or okay. model training. Mm. Is it a must? And maybe in your notebook, you had already performed the task. When you create the function, when you create the script, sorry, is it a must you come again to your notebook and add, correct it again? Or is it recommended? I don't know if that makes sense. So you you already used it on your notebook and Right, maybe, I don't know, if, let me just see if I understand the question. So you have the scripts, you mm -hmm. are using the scripts on your notebook right now? You are accessing mm -hmm. your Okay, I, I have already done the, I've already maybe done model training and data transformation in my notebook. And then I've come to create a script that can yes. handle data transformation. Okay, so maybe the next step would be you want to connect it with a front-end application or dashboard. No, no, no. I'm asking if we come, do you come back again to your notebook and adjust your notebook? It's just that two has different purpose. The script contains the whole, the code that you can use, reuse, use it reusably with other components. If, for example, if you want to connect your script with your dashboard, you can access those functions to implement some functionality and show it on your front end. Okay. The notebook also has that kind of the displaying your functionality on your notebook just to test your work, right? That is the purpose of notebook. Yeah. You can see your work in the notebook, okay. but if uh -huh. you are going in the transformation, the data in the notebook, 
and you don't see the use of using your notebook, you can, I mean, the next step is, is just connecting you with the front end part. If, if you are oh. done with those steps on your notebook and you have created a script that can be reusable in, in anywhere, I mean, you are done now. Now the next step would be to connect it with your database in your front end and you can use this script that you created that can be used okay. everywhere okay okay it's just, yeah just the notebook is just a working area for you to just test everything to see uh, to make sure that you have done any functionalities right on the notebook there's nothing special on the notebook okay okay so, thank you okay thank you for sharing Mm -hmm. So, uh, where exactly are you on the project now? Which task? Uh, I'm on task four, going to task five, but I wanted to do the module, module to test the modularization before I go to task five. Yes, that's a very good practice. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank good you. Work. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, any other person who want to share their progress? Okay, I'm just going to call him Yerusalem. Could you unmute? Can you hear us, Yerus? Okay, at least uh, write something on the chat just to share me your progress if you have any question. I don't think I have talked to you before, so I would love to hear from you. Okay, uh, Mahbuba, could you share your progress? Okay, Grace. Uh, Yerusalem, you can share on the chat. Grace, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Um, I just finished on task three. I should be going forward to task four. Yeah. No broker so far? Everything is going as it should. Hmm. Uh, I'm having troubles with my working on Windows. It takes too long and then yeah, it's shut Windows. down. So I, I am not sure. I was working with WSL, but it doesn't seem to, to help me with everything on some areas. I think I don't know how to use WSL well. I'm not sure. Yeah, Windows is a bit hard. It's just like we talked about on the Slack. You can just fix that on the weekend. Try your best what with what you have for now. You just yeah. need a lot of trial and error to understand how the windows work. Okay, so thank you for sharing, Grace. Uh, Mahbuba, if you can talk now, can you say something? Okay, can you share at least on, on facing little problem? Okay, can you just share on the chat, Yarus and Mahbuba, what you have accomplished if you have questions? You are the two ladies that are left now who haven't said anything about your progress, so use the chat and say something there.
question. Hello. Yes. Hello, you're saying something? Yeah, yeah. I'm asking about modularizing. I had you mostly talking about it. Mm. How do you do that and why? The purpose of modularization is you can call those modularized modules or files, py files, and you can reuse those functions over and over and over again without repeating those functionalities. So you get it right. So if you have, a, for example, a function that displays something, if you put it in a modularized file, you can just call that file in, in any node that you are going to be creating for this project. You can just call that, that file and import that function and use it again and again. It's, it's a best practice to gather your functionalities and access those functionalities anywhere in your project. So it, it's structured based on your functions. Sorry, yeah. So if I was doing almost everything on notebooks, I need to almost redo that on another script on a Python file. Or... Yeah, don't consider it as a redo. It's just organizing, just picking the functions that you have already put it on your notebook, and you put it in the same file or for example, for the, the all the plot function, you can put them in a plot.py file. If there are other functionalities that output something, you can put them in a util.py file. So your plot functions will be on the same file. So when someone reads your file also, it's just much easier. It will find all your plot functions. And for you, the, for you, you can access those plotting functions and access it anywhere, just on that one single file. But if you already put them on a notebook and if you create another notebook, you cannot import that notebook to another notebook and access those functions. You have to again copy paste it to that notebook. It's just repeating those functions over and over and over again. When you modularize it, it can it will be it make it easier to reuse them. You get it, Grace? The idea behind modularization? Yes, yes. It's just a best practice and a useful practice to implement on your projects. No, I'm not, Mahabuba, I'm not saying it's my network. If your network is not letting you talk, could you please share your progress if you have any question on the chat? You can write it on the chat. Just, just share your progress so far on the chat. Okay. Um, Pascalin, were you ask, asking them on the form? Can you hear me, Pascalin? Are you Can you hear me, Pascalin? Yes. Come again, please. Uh, were you asking um, them about the uh, form? Yes, it was just a nice breakdown. So, yeah, nothing much. Right, okay. You didn't ask any questions, Yerusalem. I'm not seeing your question on the chat. Maybe you write it again. So let's just wait for their comments. Uh, 
there are questions in the chat? Okay, Mahbuba, I can see you said you are able to create your notebooks, which is a good thing to. Is there another more? You have any questions, Mahbuba, maybe? This is a good practice that you did, dividing your notebooks. Grace, you can go ahead, ask, go ahead, talk. The other question, my WSL Python version is 3.11.7, and the version on my VS code is 3.11.9. So I'm trying to import the packages, and then it says it's already satisfied, but it's still not satisfied. So, so I, I don't know how to... the normal packages, pandas, numpy, all that. So on my terminal, it's saying it's already satisfied, but it is not. Maybe try to use uh, to create Python environment like I, I just showed you in my other tutorials, if you remember. Python minus m v m. Yes, I have in the environment. So in that environment also where you, you cannot import the pandas? Yes. Okay. Let me try again. Okay, after I'll you that and it didn't work. Maybe can you share your screen and let's see it together. Can you share your screen, Grace? Um, just a minute. Or are you? Okay, thank you, Mahbuba. That is a good progress when it comes to structuring your your project. So, can I should I assume that you have no technical question for today? Is there a better approach here? So I'm just asking you, uh, Mahbuba, you don't have any more questions, technical questions. I can see your pro your sharing progress, which is a good uh, way to do to do your data structuring in your for your project. So good work for that one. Uh, I'm just saying, if you don't have any technical questions. So, yes, I to answer your confusion on the challenge document. So maybe try reading before starting start working everything, so you can have a better plan on how you should start doing the project. I don't know how it happens for you to do it to do it again. And. So I'm just going if you're if you are going line by line when you are doing your project, maybe uh, understand the challenge first and have your own plan. If you're asking you to clean the data, there are no two ways to clean the data. There's just one way. So I don't know how you end up redoing it. I'm not quite sure, but 
maybe some word recognitions might be on the challenge. So just to avoid that, see the challenge first from top to bottom and have your own plan without uh, losing the target of the project. Oh, that's clear, yes. Okay, Mahbuba, thank you for sharing. Yeah, read up on a, a lot of, uh, there are a lot of resources on k clustering, correlations. So uh, keep reading, you will get it. Okay, thank you both for sharing on the chat. Okay. So, uh, Grace, maybe if you have any issue with sharing, maybe we can talk uh, about it. So, just to confirm, uh, you have activated your environment and installed those packages and still giving you not found error? Yeah. How did you... Could you just tell me how you activate the environment, maybe, on Windows? The command that you use to create the environment and activate it. Python 3 minus M virtual environment. Mm, sorry, I didn't hear that. I created the virtual environment and then I activated it. Then um, you install pandas? Yes, and then I install pandas and then uh, the requirement when is already satisfied. And when you import it, it says no mod not module found. Yes, on the terminal, it's saying requirement already satisfied, but on the on the files, it's saying could not be resolved from source. Not resolved. Okay. Yeah. It it, uh, it is it is showing uh, some kind of line on the pandas library when you import pandas. Yeah, yeah, the line is the one I'm talking about. Or red line or something will be displayed. Some yellow line on the on the code itself on pandas and on and the C bonds and all that, saying could not be resolved from source, but on the terminal it's saying requirement already satisfied. Yeah, I think there may be some installation error like you said if you have to Python versions but i don't think that should have caused a problem but maybe could you create a new folder and activate some environment and install pandas and see if the .py could, could find it or maybe restart the kernel on your base code you are using base code right yeah could you restart the kernel or? Yeah. Or close the base code and open it again, maybe. It seems okay now. Thank you. There is a uh, where was it? Sometimes when you install a new package, if you don't restart the kernel, it wouldn't find it. So every time you install, you have to restart the kernel. On the notebook, there is a restart option on the top in yeah. notebooks. You can click that, or you can just close the VS Code and restart it again. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So I think everybody has shared their issues. Hope this was helpful. So if there's anything more you have to say. We can end this session. Maybe Pascaline, if you have more to say, you can. Yeah. 
No, I don't have anything else. We just have an, uh, an announcement, but we will share it next week uh, or when we have alerted everyone that it will be like a mandatory session uh, because it's a cool thing and everyone should hear it. So up to next week. For now, thank you everyone for joining. Uh, yep, let's go ahead and enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night.